to to illustrate this whole issue of in this case solar and a bit more illustrated for you a bit bit more visually for you so here is here's a day in california right so you have little demand in the night you have a lot of demand during the day and then the afternoon you have evening a lot of demand and this is your solar power on a perfect sunny day in california so it seems all you have to do is somehow that solar during the day you somehow have to store for the night and then you're fine so that's the logic how you're told right so well the fact is that um so it seems to be like a two times roughly you know two times of over capacity over the demand would be enough well the fact is that california is be the most efficient place in the world and you actually the, the capacity factor the natural capacity is only 25 percent. remember i mentioned that so actually because of the mornings and the evenings and because of some rainy days the best areas in the world reach 25 maybe 28 percent of natural capacity factor let's say 25 percent. so in fact now suddenly you have to do four times already not two times but four times for california well that is now if you could somehow efficiently get that over here from there but if you go via hydrogen which is the current supposed solution you would have to increase it by three to five times again. Remember the 60 to 80% of efficiency in producing hydrogen. So suddenly you have a 12 to 20 times overbuilt capacity in order to get over the winter in California or anywhere else. If you were to use California, now if you use Germany, please increase it by two to three times. So you start to see how unrealistic the wind, solar plus hydrogen future is becoming just purely based on physics and, and, and energy economics. Nothing to do with what your views on climate change.